Did you go to camp already, or are you on the way? No, I'm. Uh, I'm here. I'm okay. Here. Okay. Yeah. Um, tell them where you're going and who you're helping out right now. Yeah, right now I'm actually at a uh, Jamal's camp. Jamal Charlo, helping him prepare to fight. Uh, uh, Derevinchenko. Derevinchenko. <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't want to hack his name. I got you, baby. I got you. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah, right. Derevinchenko. You guys fought Triple G, and everybody had Derevinchenko winning, except the judges who. Uh, <laughs> that fight. Everybody <laughs> had more juice. Because Daryl Vanchinko brought the smoke that night and really put the heat on Triple G. And I don't think Triple G still recovered from that fight. And he also <laughs> fought Daniel Jacobs, right? So this kid is really could be undefeated, man. And the reason, if you guys have not seen it, somebody get a clip and put it in the link tonight and so we can see it. Charlotte in the building. My man Taylor from Charlotte shouts out to you, um, Brandon, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Blessings. Yeah. And that's actually another thing that I'm out here talking to uh, Jamal about, you know. Uh, yeah. Because a lot of people don't know Jamal, you know, and, and, and a lot of people feel and believe, you know, you know, there's some real tense kind of people. But, you know, uh, I, I pull out, I bring out another side of him. Yeah. And, you know, he told it's funny because he told me he, he saw that I bring uh, that side out of a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, there's Charlo, everybody. <laughs> um, the, the man, the the, the 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 middleweight champion of the world, and him and Brandon's about to get that work. And I was yeah. like, well, then it needs and it needs to be a little more of me yes, around see. the world. So whatever I have to be, you know, what I'm saying whatever I have to do. Excuse me, you hear the voice? You know what I'm saying, yeah, like, I get it. Shaggy, whatever. I have to be. <laughs> but and right. you don't let it go any further than that. You get in the ring and you compete, and you compete it at a high level. Because to be able to go the distance with a guy like um, – and get in the ring and bang with someone like Charlo who's been doing it his whole life right. and who, at a high level and has been in the spotlight, people really don't understand what it takes to be able to do that. Like there's no camp to get you ready for that. You got to be right. that. Exactly. You got to have that DNA. I was going to say that a little earlier, man. Like nothing was able to compare uh, no. or prepare – me to the actual real deal getting in the ring with Jamal, you know, uh, me fighting that middleweight for very instance. I didn't want to do it, but I knew fighting on the contender was an opportunity because I didn't fight for over three years. Yeah. And then coming out, being able to get in the ring and, 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 and fight on the contender, that was beautiful, and, and I appreciated it. After that, I was looking to go down to 54. Yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, everything dried up. Nobody wanted to fight me. And, nah. <laughs> and rightfully so. 